Just Buy Zeri so Band, Draven Lucian Band makes sense. I think giving over Kalista is dangerous to G2. Are they going to have to triple AD Band here? I mean, Kalista's open, Senna's open. Could drop the Kalista, let them have it. They're going to take away Rally. I drop the Kalista Band. Now, what's the first pick? Varus, Kalista, Ash, Senna, Talia, Rek'Sai. Okay, Rek'Sai. Now, Fnatic, what worked for you yesterday? Xin Zhao worked for you yesterday. Nautilus worked. Alistar worked. Any kind of engaged support. Rakan. The Varus was okay. The Kalista worked. Really nice. Varus Talia would be great. One, two. We learned from last series. Varus Talia would be good. This covers off Zyra Rakan on 2 3 from G2. Varus Sack is fine as well. Matching to the Rek'Sai. Okay, they're not taking any risks in draft. They're just matching what G2 throw at them and taking it easy. No TF top for Oscar is already a good start. G2 could go Kalista Renata here. They could go Zyra Rakan. Lilia, Tristana could work. Uh oh, Tristana, red alert in Fnatic's head. Fnatic should be thinking Tristana can lane swap. They can play Tristana AD carry with Demolish and swap with it really, really easily. And they can easily double flex that. Yeah, it's a lane swap. It's a lane swap, 100% lane swap. They're lane swapping. Unless they're baiting here and they're playing like Scion. No, there were many not. tactics Wait. you could use to address that. Are they that? playing One of them Tristana the AD, Scion mid, Rek'Sai to top, and an AP jungler, and they're fake lane swapping? Then the adaptation to that was I think they're fake lane swapping and playing AP jungler with Scion mid or something. Or... Wait! They're going to pick Senna! Fennec, ban Senna! Ban Senna! They're going to play Senna, Scion, Tristana mid, fake the lane swap, and play an AP jungler like... No! They're playing Tristana mid! I think they're going to do that, right? Ban Senna! They have two options. Senna, Scion, on bot, or Scion mid, uh, Tristana AD and an AP jungler. Wow. I wonder if G2 pick Senna, Lilia, 4-5. They didn't cover off the Senna band, so I'm scared. Maybe they don't do that, but I would be a bit concerned about that. I think this, the thing is, when you know G2's lane swaps and they blind this, you must think to yourself, is this a trap? Why would they blind this? Because then we know they're going to lane swap, unless they're faking it, right? What is G2 cooking here? Razork. Xin Zhao, easy, I'm boom, nice pick. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Worked yesterday. <laughs> now, do they go Senna? But why would they fake the lane swap then? What value are they getting out of it if they pick Senna here? Vagar. Caps Vagar. What is this draft? Could pick Rakan here. I don't really know what they're picking. I think Rakan is a great pick here. Uh, Tristana Lulu lane swap, sure. All right, how good is their lane swapping? It's locked, there's no Senna contest. They're playing Vagar Lulu. Wow, I didn't expect that at all. I have no idea uh, how good Blitzcrank, go Blitzcrank well. or something. Fnatic I think Blitzcrank's sure good here. Ash is fine too. I have no idea how good Fnatic's lane swap so knowledge is. Well, is fine. G2 are likely going to five man invade top and try and get some kind of deep visions to get their bots offside, right? But Fnatic are probably going to want to do the same. There could be a level one fight. How quick is Fnatic to respond to this? You can, there is a way where you can read the lane swap by into the G2 the and let them lane swap. Now yeah, that might sound stupid, works, but, but obviously top tower is squishy, uh, is, is tankier, sorry, yeah, when we look at what than bot tower. So you can get more value by allowing the lane swap. If you react to the lane swap properly by having your jungler bot side, helping clear camps, making sure you're threatening the Scion on the dive, making sure he's zoned away, stuff like that. But G2 could just not lane swap when Fnatic lane swaps, you know? This is all mind games. The level one is everything. Personally, if I was on Fnatic, I would say let's not invade top side, let's five men invade bot side, get deep vision on their bot side, and let's allow them to swap and keep Zack bot side. Boom! Make sure you like and subscribe. Based on the vision we have, Zack can move. And they should just take bot tower and have demolish on Renata. And they should have reacted to that with demolish. You know exactly what they're doing. We've got a Fennec, lot of fans they're lane swapping. Please think crowd, about this. I hope Jun has Demolish. He does. Perfect. I think Fnatic are allowing the lane swap so and they're playing with Demolish. Oscar's to showing top. Oscar's going to run bot. Expecting. And I think Tristana G2 are going to fake swap and run bot with Tristana now. And it's going to be even lanes, maybe. See the rune choice or is Tristana going to stay top? Heavily indicating it. I think Fnatic have reacted well. You can see they, Fnatic had folks. two options. So Late invade bot, recall a couple of times early invade bot, whatever it is. Just to be like, or if they don't invade G2, exactly. five he men was sit, on the ward and, he's, and then if uh, yeah, help Sin Zhao clear. So what like is Zach doing? He's covering. He's I think Oscar is just being a human ward here. 
We're not actually going to try and keep up with the you, G2. We're not going to try and make this swap. They should have started top side. Instead, we're just going to push late as quickly as bot. we can. To it doesn't make sense for the dead around jungle the here, and then later because we Rek'Sai can, can now we take do, all top caps. BB wants to die here. Just try to take Broken Blade out of the question equation. Not going to interrupt the Q. It's not going to matter. Dive will be clean. Broken Blade. Fnatic have responded really well. I think the only thing Fnatic fucked up was they didn't take red buff. What is Yike doing? I'm really confused. He's waiting to see if what Zach TP's top. What is Yike doing? He's standing still on Crux. Was he standing there for info, or in case they TP top, um, or was he getting XP from the wave or something? I'm a bit confused. What was happening there? In theory, the sieging power bot side should be quicker. Broken Blade trying to get to the tower. Inner tower. Handshake back is good. Nice follow up. Pushing him away. Oscar has Just passive. Match, though. Gonna hit two members. Broken Blade gonna have the passive as well. And already Oscar's down. That's the stop. I mean, they're Oscar murdering out. that top tower. The they're murdering that top tower. Oh my board. god, he's back again. Keep the Scion is working hit. really well here. Oh, hang on, are they gonna dive him again? Broken Blade, TP gone. He's out of all the resources he has. Yo, Broken Blade's KDA exactly. is getting smoked this Oscar, game, but he's doing God's work. He keeps clearing the lane. Look at the plates difference. I think they have more damage on top tower. Why is Yikes not clearing camps? I really don't know what Yikes doing. I'm very confused of Yike. He did Raptors, went to enemy Krux. He stood at enemy Krux for about 10 seconds. He stood still. He then killed the Krugs and over. stood still for 20 seconds. Then he went to red, went to Grump, and then stood still top again. Is he waiting for Zach to TP? It's my only guess. But Zach was diving bot on vision, I think. So I'm slightly confused as to what they're really doing. At first I thought maybe he's sharing XP. Then I thought maybe he has demolish and he wants to proc it. But now I'm really not sure why he did that. Because Zach was showing bots. There must be a reason, you know, he's not standing still on purpose. I think safest bet is he was probably waiting for TP. Yeah, Oscar needs to back, he can't play here. I mean, BB's KDA is getting ruined, but he's doing what he needs to do. He's holding that tower, and then G2 will get the gold back to the tower. He's and Broken Blade is becoming tower, worth so less and less gold. Wave. Because Pretty the way Scion works is when you die, your death timer ahead. starts when they you die, they not when your passive dies. So you die, you start hitting the wave, by the time you finish hitting the wave, you're alive. And you're already running bot. Look where he is already. Look where look where Scion is. And look at top tower. But it's crazy to me that bot is even in gold because of the kills on Scion. They're TPing with Han Sama. He's gonna jump in maybe. Step up. But has to be careful. Noah's still quite strong. Has the flash, as does Jun, but wants to kick this fight off. Knows the handshake isn't quite there. Jun now gonna be in trouble. Dead. Time bomb just ticking. They have bailout Reset though. There. Not quite waiting it out so beautiful. Oh, the there bailout timer was perfect. And this handshake. The nice snipe by Yike. He has flash as well. Jun might die, but he has flash himself. Sweeper as well, but Razork is here to cover. Han's getting taken out is perfect for that. Razork, no flash. Might have to be careful. Razork's dead as well. So with the collapse. Baby cage. Caps a little bit slow on the trigger. Needs to flash knock from Yike. He doesn't want Caps to die. He doesn't want Caps to have to burn Flash either. You know, cancels Caps' base. I guess it's a world record of the year. Top tower in six minutes by G2. I wonder if Humanoid could have skipped midway for this. Nah, it's useless, right? All right, they're gonna get Dragon here. Manic, so that's first Dragon of the game. Three Grubbies over to G2. And uh, lanes are back in even states. The gold in bot is the same. It's just the only gold lead is Caps getting that kill, funny enough. If you ignore all of the kills and towers dying, game's even. It's just Caps is slightly ahead, funny enough. Broken Blades, level six. He now. pushed out top to tier two, really to to go top and now maybe he can look for ult through lane track, on the no flash virus. Oh yeah, Oscar is freezing top. Oh, this is so he has bombies though, so it should push. Yeah, they see Sion. Jun's fine. Well. Here come the boys. They have TP on Zach. If they need it, they could TP in and save him. Oscar is getting a lot from this if Fnatic just don't fight. Killing the Sion is not worth it, Fnatic. He is 0-4. Well, he healed it out. Now, oh, Jun! Oh, Jun, that was crazy! Yo, Jun just fried Mickey's brain with that R flash. They're losing plates in mid, though. Watch the Vagar gold. It's going to go to 355. But it is a kill. Two plates for a kill. TP behind from Humanoid. He has to push. 
behind, but uh, this is a tough play to make. Hantama still has flash. Okay. There, Not sure why he's yeah, pulling the trigger fine. on that kind of play. No wanted to reset Looks like anyway, right? he, was out of mana he wanted to take over bots, so, so Tristana couldn't get played, so Noah could reset, is my guess. Look how many wards Fnatic have in the bot side of the map. Absolutely unreal. And Jun pinks the bush there behind him, so... There's no threat of a TP behind Marek, behind Humanoid. I think they lost track of uh, G2's TP timers. Cap's trying to get some stacks. 129 stacks on the Vagar right now. Now, G2 are purposely playing for grubs, I think. I mean, you can't really blame them. They're playing a lot of demolishers and they have a Tristana, so... There comes the Dave, the dive, Dave. Nice ult, but Oscar TP'd it for no reason, really. Oh, Marek dashing in. He's gonna push the... Why are they going on the Scion? Oh, Cap's just one shot the, the uh, Humanoid. Why are they even trying to kill the Scion? Oh, he has bailout. Whoa, what? No, I died 1v1 to Hans. You can't die 1v1 to the enemy he carry. Yeah, G2 just got way too much gold. This Vagar just became an absolute monster. Yeah, that's a game breaker right there. The gold is not broken, but this fucking Vagar is, I can tell you that for a fact. Six grubbies. Melting through mid tower, melting through bot tower. How did Hans kill Noah 1v1? And why is Fnatic so... Set on trying to kill Scion. Oh, the Caps no flash. Ah, uh, can't get him. But Mickey no flash too. Oh, the handshake. I think he's dead. Hansama no flash. They need to chase this Fnatic. They need to run this motherfucker down. They need the Zack to jump on this Tristana. But I think he's too far. But they might just be able to chase them, stop their bases, get Azir to hit on the bot tower. So. One tower back to Fnatic, slightly recovered from the play, but that Vagar is so accelerated. Look, Vagar items in base. TPing back, what's he gonna buy? Lighting Jewel, Amp Tome. Two dragons to Fnatic, though. Actually, maybe it's not a game breaker, you know? I take it back. A Drake and a bot tier one is huge. Kill onto Mickey, big mistake by him. So Noah just gets engaged on here. Nice flash by Hans. Oh, nice flash there from Hans. No, actually choosing not to oh, flash he, away. Oh, he, he should have Doesn't flashed earlier there, Noah. But I do think Xin Zhao is such now. a powerful really champ, and I think Rek'Sai really is a really useless jungler lose. post 20 minutes. So I am worried for G2 in the sense that I think their front line is Scion. And that's it. And Scion can't provide anything. It's not like Xin Zhao Zac, which can disrupt a shit ton. It's just he's not going to be the one that kills Broken Blade, who's... Nice movement for... Oh, Jun just flashed up the caps with no flash. Yo, Jun is making the plays. Oh, Razor tried to give it to Varus, but it took it with the Ignite there, Jun. That'll get Fnatic top tier one. Hold up. G2 are crumbling a little bit on the map. They have lost both dragons. They're going to lose top tier one. The towers are going to be evened up. Jun is carrying. I told you guys, Jun is insane. Jun has been having a great game so far. Unreal. We about oh, is there a red buff respawning here? I can't see on the minimap. No, there's not. Together, and they're just getting bot side vision. No Drake for 230. This is looking... I take back my statement about G2 breaking right, yeah. the game. I really Hansama misread the situation. I think that shutdown on the Vagar, that kill onto Lulu, the bot tier one, the Drake, sets sets Fnatic up pretty nicely. I wonder what Humanoid's buying second though. Is he going Rabbit on second? Does he? Is he? There's no way he has Rabbit on second, right? Is he going Zonias? No, yeah, no, he is going Rabbit on second, right, okay. Well, Jesus, they're gonna have a lot of damage. Humanoid's farming really well as well. He's kind of locked in on that side lane. Farm is actually really good this game by uh, Humanoid. Top lane obviously is gonna be really down in farm. AD carries have been moving around the map. But they do have Tristana Lulu. Now, Tristana Lulu is not the strongest Lulu comp you can run, but I mean, a Lulu with an AD carry with crit is always dangerous to play against, especially considering Tristana gets range per level. They herald bot, but I think Caps can kill that tower with auto attacks without it crashing. They can just go straight to tier two. So. G2 are playing for bot tier 2 here. What's the response from Fnatic? Looks like Humanoid's gonna get mid tier 1. And they're gonna TP behind bot and they're gonna long collapse. Can they really collapse on this? Let's see it. Caps is driving it out. The fight's starting a bit too early for Fnatic. Oh no, I almost got one shot. He's dead, I think. Yike gets the kill and he's dead. It's a one for one. Scion ult. Marek's kind of hinting here. Humanoid's oh, just flashed out. Big jump by Oscar. Oscar gets a really good engage there, but Hansama might have just clutched the fight by killing the Azir. It's a 3v3 now. That cage is huge from Caps.
The bailout. It's a three for two. Good team fighting from both sides. Hansama kind of clutched it by killing Humanoid. Humanoid didn't even get the ult off. Humanoid should never have dashed into the Vagar there. He dashed into a cage. And Noah kind of walked into the cage. I wonder if there needs to be a Mikhail's coming out here from the Renata. Noah has flash now. No flash on Caps or Hans. If they can land Zack on top of them. That's dangerous. Oh, that Zack jump is huge. The Vagar can't move. Humanoid finds Lulu. They could just drop the Drake here. Fnatic can go towards the Baron. They're kind of split call here. I think Fnatic should maybe look for a Baron start, but TP's available on Caps. How risky do they want to be? How risky do they want to be? Because Lulu's going to be up by the time they start it. Yike. Can he look for a steal? They have hostile takeover. They have Renata Q. They don't have much else to stop this guy. Nah, he's not going to get in here. Jun's not going to let him. Oh, Jun missed! He missed! It's a 50 50! Oh, the smite's too early by Yike. Razork doesn't flinch. Hansama's dead! Cap CP's in, but for nothing. Fnatic are in full control of this game. Humanoid's going to base and get Rabadons. Zin Zhao's going to base and have Black Cleaver. They thought that they were going to be able to Spirit Massage almost finished as well. Yo, the Fnatic, this, this is a clean ball. game from Fnatic. What the Fallen fuck happened to them? Fnatic. And they're on Soul Point, don't forget that. Fnatic's on Soul Point. They have Mikhail's on Renata now as well. I think that's a big pickup. Big pickup. Just think of it. What? How the fuck did he bend that? What? I'm gonna be honest, chat. Rek'Sai jungle looks so fucking useless. Post level 8, level 9. Oh, Hans is gonna fry up here. Bailout saves the Zac, maybe. He doesn't have the sustained DPS. Jun and Noah on the retreat. Oscar Renan as well. Jun Big hostile takeover. Jun is smurfing this game. It's unbelievable. Wow, that drift from uh, the Scion was sexy. But Jun is on point, man. Yo, this damage is crazy from this poke Varus. Yo, Chad, I think Rek'Sai jungle is so fucking bad. At least Rek'Sai top is a giga tank that just stands there. Rek'Sai jungle with damage just goes in and gets one shot. Maybe Oscar can find a Q here. Oh, hostile takeover was pretty good. Flash on caps up. Oh, Razork had the W buffered on him for the dash. Humanoid swoops to Tristana. Down goes to Lulu. And Fnatic wins game one. To everyone's surprise. Razork is... Yeah! Bro, Fnatic, good showing in game one. They handled the lane swap well. Their team fighting was good. And like I said, I think Fnatic's bot lane is just so fucking good. When they're locked in, they are frying everyone. I know G2's gonna change everything. Yike's gonna be on an agency jungler. Mickey's gonna be on a playmaker. Caps is gonna be on a champ. Much better than Vagar that can impact the game. BB's gonna play a carry into Oscar or some winning top matchup. You know they're gonna change everything for next game. So them winning this game one doesn't really mean much, Fnatic. It's huge that they've shut down the lane swap, but G2 have a very easy way of just flipping the whole style that they're playing right now. I would never say this, but the support gap is... Man, Jun, let's see what he's got. Can they get the siege going here? Zack can kind of jump in and try and pressure them off the tower, but the cage is annoying. The Tristana can't really walk up and hit the wave, but they have got Vagar W being spammed out on cooldown, basically. Did they just leave the Chaos in there? No way, right? Nah, yes, Merx. No knock-up from the Rek'Sai on the jump. Caps just dies then. Yike didn't interrupt the Zack jump very well. Humanoid swoops him, and Fnatic games wins game one. 3-0 G2, my ass. All right, we're going to see a very different G2 next game, I think. They're done with their lane swap shenanigans, I think. What a game from Fnatic. What a game from Jun. What a game from Noah. Bot lane carried hardcore. Hardcore carry from bot lane. So that's huge from Fnatic. Zack Ban. Well, I talked about it. G2 have sniped it out straight away.
So yeah, so now it will be crazy if they. No, Mitsuko's here with a with a drink. Yo, it will be crazy if they went for a Jax first pick or a Zinzao first pick or some shit. Because Jax. Okay, so Zinzao is gonna be strong. Hey, Volley Bear's open. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Razork loves Volley Bear. They dropped the Volley Bear ban. I think Senna ban is good against G2 here or Kalista. Now, what are they first pick? Do they go for Varus? Do they go for Zin? Or do they go for Volley Bear? That Broken Blade's typing in there. Because the Volley Bear is something they didn't ban. Early and I think, exactly. again, yeah, Fnatic exactly. can look uh, for Azir, Talia, Varus, Kalista, the and they can look so for um, Zin, Zaur, Jax. Okay. And they're happy. Yesterday, and I think, I actually it? think no, well, that if G2... Uh, no, I think Kasante is so important now for Fnatic. Is Hansama going to play Varus into Kalista? Jinx, Sion, they're lane swapping again. Why are they lane swapping again? Don't you just pick Renata here again? Or Kasante? Or... You're not that worried about it. Uh, yeah, like. yeah I I'd prefer Cassante. Like I don't, don't, don't like Orn on the lane swap. I think his level one is too weak. Yeah, yeah. His level two is also too weak. He needs like level five and then he can start playing the, the dives. But Cassante W is so strong on the dives. What support are they playing with Jinx? The Lulu ban, yeah, it's good. I think Melio ban from Fnatic might be a good snipe here. They should think about Melio here. They ban Nautilus. Ah, I think they're gonna pick Rakan on four maybe. But I'm a bit scared of this Melio champ. Oh, they're going Thresh. Blitz ban signals Thresh, and Fnatic maybe wants Rakan. Nico flex. I like that. I think G2 are going to go Thresh plus Talia. Or Thresh plus already on Soul. Volibear Thresh is great. They could play Rakan here, but I think Jinx needs Thresh. And then Fnatic can pick the other, right? So, for example, if they go Azir here, I think Humanoid can go already on Soul. Or he can go the Telia himself. Or he can even go Orianna. The lane top's gonna come in again. I hope Jun goes demolish again. Mickey's gonna go demolish. And I think Fnatic should do the same thing. I just think Razork needs to clear a little bit better on his camps. They either five men invade bot or they spread out. If they invade, they take bot side. If they don't invade, he takes his top camps. But uh, yeah, Fnatic have really good snap engage. Nico Kalista. They have already on Soul into Azir, which from what I saw in Chovy versus Faker today, already on Soul looked favored actually. But um, yeah, what I'm not sure how good they both are at these champs. Kalista, Kalista doesn't do much damage to towers compared to Jinx. Oh, maybe G2 has a different strat here. They're five men invading bot. Are they trying to stop? I think they're thinking Fnatic's gonna five man invade bot for the lane swap, and they can cheat them and get first blood. But Fnatic aren't gonna fall for it. It looks like they're not falling for the bait. G2 are gonna. Are they gonna late invade bot? They're not swapping. They're fake swapping. And Fnatic's gonna swap. So this is so bad for Fnatic. I can't describe how bad this is. Thank God, please don't swap Fnatic. They're swapping away from a winning lane, and they're swapping into a tankier tower. Oh, they see them. But they think that they see Broken Blade's showing on purpose. Because now Jinx is going to appear in so bot. G2 oh my god, it's a horror. Wanted to G2 wait. fake swap. <laughs> Ugh, they wait, have to be thinking about this Fnatic so like fake we swap. Because we now Scion so jungles bot. Fnatic. This is so bad for Fnatic because their tower damage is zero lane, with Kalista Nico. And uh, G2 is going to murder through this tower with Demolish. Plus this tower is squishier. And Broken Blade has Demolish too. Oh my god. They have two plates almost in on those first two waves. Look at top tower. They can't do damage to it. Fnatic need to base, uh, Fnatic need to base and run bot ASAP. But BB might stay for the dive or just base and TP. Fnatic will get back to bot in time. They fast push the first two waves and base on the cannon, right? So now G2 are going to tempo swap. So they're going to base and they're going to run top because they see Cassante top. Now Oscar should push this wave. He should push this wave if he has any sense of what's about to happen. Because he should know they're tempo swapping and he should try and thin the wave. He's not using any mana. Why is Oscar letting them have a stacked wave for free? He should have pushed this. Oh, now he thinks about pushing it. He's too late. Even against Sion, he can't get frozen on. He should have just pushed. Now the wave's stacking. So now G2 have been gifted a stacked wave into the tower. Oscar should have pushed that. Maybe Razor can lane with him and they can take the wave. 
I don't think they can, you know. Oscar has EQ, no W. And now BBTP's bot. Oh my god, G2 have won this lane swap so hard. They can't dive him. He did push it. No, he didn't. He should have just hit the wave. It's not even about the gold. He should have just hit the wave as much as possible to slow down the stack. Oh, here comes the dive. Maybe they can get it. Yeah, first blood. The thing is, it doesn't really matter. Because Broken Blade will clear the wave. And then they'll they'll leverage the gold As difference from the kill the onto top tier one with demolition plates, right? So it doesn't really matter. The gold will be the same. And now here comes the poker game again. It's kind of like a 50-50 now. Where does G2's bot lane run? Bot or top? That's what Fnatic has to guess. Where are they going to go? It's obvious that they're probably going to go bot because they see Cassante. So Fnatic could run out bot right now and Oscar could push this way base and TP and then G2. Then Fnatic bot lane can take over. But it's a game of poker. You know, maybe G2's bot lane sees Cassante and they think that Fnatic thinks they're going there, so they're going to go top. And Fnatic think that they think, you know, it, it's an endless cycle of what are they going to do. And so Fnatic have gambled, they're going top. Nope, they're not going top. They see Thresh bot. Too late now. Take the grubbies. They might lose Drake. So another kill to Kalista. Zombie form. I don't know why Oscar is dying on the weak side. Like, I'm no clue what that guy's doing. And then Jink milks bot tower. Oscar TP's in. Good TP. It's likely he dies. What is... Oscar knowing that he's one going against the AD carries. Caps oh, Caps Ninja. has no ult. Oh, great ult. Lantern came in though. Perfect placement by Mickey X and Yike to counter that play. Oh, flash hook by Mickey. There's Mickey, baby. There's Mickey. Mickey's online. Well, this is going to have to be the Noah show this game. Again. Why is Oscar even face checking bot side? Makes no sense, no. Even turns around. Oscar, man, wake up. Lock it in, lock it in. Humanoid fake bases here, and they think, oh, plate's mid. But Yike doesn't back away too far. So when they go for this play here, G2 react very well. Because if his nice team's not here, I think Caps dies just straight up. Yeah, no ult, no lantern, he just dies, no volley bear. Oh, hook misses. G2 get the dragon. Fnatic have grubs, which helps the tower push. Caps almost gets knocked into Mickey. Would have been a lantern on Yike, hook onto a humanoid, would have been a dead dragon. They have three grubs to help them with the tower damage. Jun's going to tank the dive. Looks like it should be pretty simple. The kill goal is not that big, though. There's first tower to Jinx. That's going to recover the gold deficit on Kalista to about 100. 200. I mean, BB's doing the right thing, he's clearing waves, he's slowing down the Kalista. Even though he's getting gold, Noah, the towers are staying very healthy. Blade of the King almost finished for Noah. I'm happy he's playing on hit Kalista. I'm tired of seeing Lethality Kalista. Maybe it's better, I don't know, but it just looks useless in every game. Alright, the lane match, here we go. They have Static Shiv on Jinx now though, and no Blade on Kalista, so they're actually losing. Broker Blade's actually just roaming as well. They're going to go for the four-man top here and try and take the tower with triple demolish. This is disgusting what G2 are doing, honestly. It's actually vile. I like the innovation, but <laughs> this is disgusting. Why does Kalista have a bounty but Jinx doesn't? Because you don't get bounties. I think you, they, you do kind of get bounties from plates, but it doesn't count as much. I remember you used to not get bounty from plates, but they changed something, didn't they? I don't know the exact numbers. But basically because it's plates versus kills. Kills gives bounties much quicker than it does with plates and farm. So it actually gives enemy aid. Like Scion dies a lot, Kalista gets shut down. They go even in gold on AD, but Kalista's worth more gold because of the way plates works, right? It's actually an underrated mechanic that G2 were abusing in a sense. Because Kalista gets kills on Scion. Scion still gets levels and farm by dying and clearing the wave and stopping her from getting plates. Jinx gets plates, and then Kalista's worth more gold even though they're even, right? They're abusing Balsan's Law to its maximum for their AD carry. So don't sleep on the amount of gold this Kalista's worth. Here comes the top play. Hook miss though. Oh, Jun used his W a bit early, he can't block. He tried to base, well, it doesn't matter. He tried to use the, the recall animation to keep the Nico W there for longer, but BB's ult ran out anyway. They're really trying to hold this tower. They have a plate on it, so it's actually quite tanky, but Volibear can disable it. Double TP from Fnatic here. They have a Lantern. I like the Cassante TP. I don't like the Aurelion Soul TP. 
Well, I guess he's back in mid anyway. Never mind. I don't know if he's going to be able to enter mid through this choke, though. He's going to have to go around. He's going to lose a bit mid. Basically, both top lane towers have one plate left. And both teams want top lane tower. So it's a 4v4 in top. <laughs> They're playing Aram top in a 4v4. Look where Cassante is going. You know why he's going top? Because he pushed bot all the way into tower and TP top, which means bot wave bounces. So by the time Oscar bases, or Imagine Noah, the they're going to collect a massive wave, and Broken Blade is bleeding go gold on that bot wave. So if you want to play the minimap game, really nice pick up just, just pay attention to bot wave, and just look at the amount of blue minions that are going to be on the bounce. So smart by Oscar to run top. He has loads of time. He's chilling. Now he can go bottom and collect his big wave, but he had loads of time to defend top as well. He can even donate that wave to Noah if he wants. Sometimes you'll see people do that to try and get their AD carries as far ahead as possible. I'm happy we EU's got this weird meta because I feel like EU's international success comes from creativity and innovation. They've done it so many times now that Korea and China are probably sitting there like, oh, they're going to lane swap. Okay, let's spend two days figuring out lane swaps and then we'll be fine. And it's like, oh, hell no, nah, bro. We know how to deal with it now, guys. So Sion gets top tower. Asante collect, collects top wave. This feels similar to last game, though. Game's pretty even, but Caps is just really far ahead. This time he's playing Azir, though, instead of Vagar, so he can definitely impact the game a lot better. Actually, maybe G2's playing five-dimensional chess. They knew they could win the split with lane swaps, so they lane swap all playoffs. They get to MSI. The Chinese and Korean teams have practiced lane swaps. G2 arrives. They don't lane top at all. They waste practice. Big stun there. Big push by Caps though. But they're underneath the tower. They're really deep on the tower and the Kalista will save the Nico. So only Razork died in that. Flash away. Oh, Mickey's gonna have to flash. Damn. Four flashes from G2 to force that play in a numbers advantage. And it actually didn't work. They got the tower, but they went one for two. Two. Oscar kind of didn't have TP, so he just cameraman from top. Just look at the Kalista ult. Pulls Jun back. The original ult stuns everyone, so Noah lives. Or knocks him up, rather. And then by the time everyone's out of their CC, Caps and Yike are dead. Four flashes from both sides, I think, right? Yeah, four flashes from both sides. Herald to Fnatic is big for mid tier one, because that tower needs to go down. And it's almost in Herald's kill range. Uh, he has Rylice, and Bo BB has no ult, but yeah, he's not going to chase him. You're in on Souls recovering a lot. It was 1.1, now it's 500. Well, hello. Now, not so pleasant surprise. CC from the Counter Strike. Now they need to defend top tier two here. No Fnatic. To oh, Fnatic are a bit too split around the map well, here. Cassante is going to defend top, but mid's open. I mean, they have the uh, Herald recall in power. Lose his life so maybe the they don't lose any. Trying to secure maybe they can get two people. towers bot then on the repeat. This point in time is they have five drops as well. I think Humano should just drive that shit into bot tier two. They do get mid tier two. Do they get top tier two as well? No shot, right? Kumo can just hit bot tower and fly out, really. I don't think he gets it, though. Definitely doesn't get it. What's Broken Blade's KDA this series, chat? It must be like 0 15. No, I'm kidding. It's probably like 0 10 by now, isn't it? I feel bad for him, man. What's his, his job this game and last game? Coach says, You're playing Sion on lane swaps. You're going to die a lot. Be down in a gold, down in XP, and you're going to walk up and you're going to fucking die while clearing waves. Good luck, soldier. Suddenly that's and then we're going to get to MSI, and they're going to be like, down a look at Broken Blade's stats in their so finals. Down 400 CS at minute 12, and when you have vision control on your level 4 on average at minute 10. No! Context! They should take out these Scion games when they talk about Broken Blade's stats in an international, because otherwise, like, it just massively hits his stats. Like, are you kidding? It's kind of like when Senna used to be played as an AD carry, and the Senna would have 5 CS at minute 20, and then they'd look at the AD carry stats and be like, yeah, he averages 1 CS per minute it's like well he did play shanna and then they stopped taking senna for the stats on any carries so be careful when you when you look out for the g2 stats in msi dragon in five it is the most useless dragon of the game for both sides but i think they'll fight over it because all is walking up Oh! He found Jinx! Razor got rooted on the flash, but Mickey just got one shot. There's a tower put up there. Oscar might die on the back. 
Now stepping in, Hans Yike got caught. Yike taken down. Humeroid could just fly again. Oh, Caps. Raining fire from the skies, but Caps, Hans Hammer broken by trying to play around this Humeroid's tower. peeling well. Ults was pretty down, good there. No flash on Jinx. Hans nice flash from Razorts. They're going to get Drake. G2 down. are getting and out. Team Ford. Jun is smoking them. Buying a bit more space. Breath of light going through. Oh, Caps still had ult. Caps can fuck them up here, but the tower died. Caps desperately trying to escape. Dashing over the wall. Oh, Noah. Noah wants to kill, but he's going to get embarrassed. Big pace from Noah. That's Dragon. It's just the same situation from last game. G2 lane swap all this bollocks and then they just lose a fight and everything's fucked. Fnatic is in the lead. That's fucking right, pussies. 3-0 G2. 3-0 my fucking ass cheeks. Mickey got one shot. Oscar kites out their solo lanes. Hans has no flash. He can't hit. He just hits the Raptors. Min maxing. Oscar gets out with Ghost still up. Ult was good from Marek. Noah's sort of like flanking a bit here or like sandwiching the Azir. Are they going to go for a Baron start here? No flash on Jinx. How are they playing this Baron start? Because they started it without Kalista. They're forcing Scion TP, I think. I think Fnatic might be blundering here. Yike can get his deal range easily oh for fuck's sakes humor is gonna kill their back line though oh humor smurfed it he's gonna die though what are they doing why are they flipping baron like that humanoids save their fucking they save he saved the game caps tp's in behind flash ult what a psychotic fight g2 come out ahead they are Baron on two members, the and they got a lot of shutdowns. Volleybear is 3k I mean, up on Jax almost. Caps' TP in flash ult behind was huge. Like Yikes, steal the the was, right look at Caps, e, W, E, in, ult, three of them. Just look at Humanoid like here, look at the Humanoid. Comes in kills both their support kind of and Lady Carry basically by himself. Oscar just Caps kills off Caps with the ult over the wall. I get that they have Kalista for the smite, that they just but why are they 50 50 in Baron <laughs> when Kalista doesn't hit Baron for the first like Bubble five takes. seconds yeah. of the start, 10 seconds of the start? In the middle oh, if they had Sion ult, Fnatic would be in trouble there. No flash on Razork is big. He lived. Jun ult was not bad, but he's going to die here. Alistair ult will save him, but Noah will die. Nice proto belt to dodge the Jinx W. They're all so low. G2 are going to get mid tier 3 here easily. Going to get an in hip. I don't think they can end. If Caps had TP, they could push a bit more. Fnatic need to slow down. They need to stop getting sucked into these stupid corners and fights. I, mean, I don't think they have full control. They just got minion hip. The game is still pretty even. Having a 3k gold lead on Volibear is not that big of a deal. If it was on Azir or Jinx, I would be worried, but I think it's whatever at the moment. But Fnatic threw this game so fucking hard. Crazy that Razork survived there. Crazy. Drake's in 40. That's soul point for Fnatic. They lost top tier too. This fight is everything. Caps has TP. Humanite has Evolved Ultimate, which will be big. They got Scion ult. Not they bad. Here comes the dragon <laughs> start. Oscar is cancelling Caps' so TP. I think that's really important here. Because Yike has to play the 50 50. He has Lantern. Fnatic's on soul points. Now, Fnatic should realize, guys, if we slow the game down, we have soul in five minutes. But if we throw the whole game away, we can't get a soul. So we take a breather. So the game will slow down a little bit now. Baron's in 130. Alistair probably has Terminus. There it is, picked up. The Volley Bear is the gold lead for G2. G2 have control. Caps has TP, he's in a base soon. He's going to Krugs. I think Caps might have Seekers in base or something. Or some kind of item. Noah needs uptime, Jun needs a clean engage. The problem is probably Azir, not Jinx. Caps is going for bot crab now. Or next wave bots. I think Caps is trying to farm an item here. How much gold does Caps have in his inventory? Is that not a suck? He's going to get bot tier 2 as well. Both sides here too has just died to his ear. But now the ulti oh, they're ulting for frontline. Kalista ult saves the Nico. Caps is still pushing. He's not TPing in. Jun kind of misplayed there and died. Caps is still pushing. 
keep your eyes on caps in the picture and picture he's already no flash on jinx oscar has ult keep going they need to he can get cassante here jinx the ulti, the caps is still pushing Caps is still pushing. I don't know if they're getting out here. Caps has a TP ward right behind them. Caps has a TP ward right behind them. He's TPing on midwave. Sundered Sky from Volley Bear is keeping him alive. Sundered Sky! Oh no! The Sundered Sky Spirit Visage is so OP. Noah! 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 Don't give him the Sundered Sky! Why are you giving him the Sundered Sky? Oh my god, they lost the game. What the fuck, he's alive. They're gonna end or what? They're going for the Bow Special and the Volley Bear Special. Maybe they can end. Oh my god, the, the Scion Volley Bear Special. Wow, they actually do end. Jesus, what a play. What a play by G2. Is it a pentakill for Caps? No, he doesn't have Wait, it's a pentakill for Caps. Is it a pentakill for Caps? Why did it say pentakill? There it is! Pentakill for Caps in game two. Okay, this series is gonna get spicy. So fucking glue yourselves into the chair. Because this series is gonna go fucking schizo now, I can tell you that. That game was robbed from Fnatic and G2 have Yike momentum. This game coming up next is gonna have 50 kills. I can what see it already. We've seen Oscar pull I was gonna like say that. Zach. <laughs> Zach yes first big hell yeah. But but they could go Rex side so to it. G2 no. end up taking someone like that. Rex is good. Talia is good. Azir is good. Azir looks great for Caps. Caps just plays side lane Azir. Kalista is good. Kalista is good chat. Nah, they're not going Diana blind. They're just teasing. Oh, Poppy Varus insta lock hell yeah. Of his most I mean, G2 could pick Renata on three, North on three, Talia on three, Azir on three. Jungle pick, what could they pick? Zinzao, Sejuani, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, Azir is great. Yeah, North this could be high prior. Depends on what. Fnatic ban, Talia ban, maybe Talia ban already on Soul ban. And then Humanoid's gonna have to go. I actually think, you know what I think could be good here, chat? I wonder if LeBlanc is a good pick. Maybe not, because I think Orianna can work, but if they're playing Rek'Sai North, I'm a bit scared. For they don't want to run they also have Jarvan available if they want it. Or is it going to be Humanoid? Way. Or Akali! Well, they banned the Orianna, so he has already on Soul. Easy clap. Maybe Caps thinks that his Orianna Soul is bad. Why aren't they banning it? You will what have last stronger could you ban here? I think Maokai is a good ban. Will be the Orianna ban away, so All Nautilus. Now. I feel like Yike is a Maokai merchant sometimes. Just such a good vice versa. They take away Mickey X's Nico support. I mean, Varus Thresh would be great here. Actually, they can just go... What happens if they just play... Actually, wait, hold up. Corky is a mega champ here. I know I'm here, listing but champs like a degenerate here, but I'm just thinking out loud. Kind of they have good engage, the and they have Varus poke. <laughs> Poppy <laughs> support, <laughs> Zach jungle, <laughs> Jack's top. <laughs> Renata blind is okay, but they have Nautilus on five. Just pick Nautilus, Jun, just pick Nautilus. Just pick Nautilus. I'm scared of Nautilus on five or Blitz on five for Mickey. I think Blitz on five is crazy here for G2. Morgana! Okay, Jesus. Both drafts are not bad. Kind of have a hard losing top, I think. And, and um, the bot lane matchup is Fnatic really scary in the 3v3. Them, which, but I think G2, Varus, you don't necessarily have G2 to are convinced that Rek'Sai jungle is good. I'm convinced Rek'Sai jungle is trash after minutes 15, 20. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder what Rek'Sai provides <laughs> later on because they don't have any frontline, but they have a lot of threat on the face check with Blitzcrank hook. I think Mickey needs to carry this one. The right hook could win the fight. The wrong hook could pull Poppy on top of Kalista. Love the wrong hook could fuck him up. What if Fnatic was the lane swap? Thoughts? Different. I wonder if G2 is scared you of Fnatic's lane swapping. Like I said, what if Fnatic lane swaps? Ha ha! I knew it. Now Fnatic setting up a but level one of their own. G2 oh. is kind of reading it. Oh, they see Renata. Cap saw Renata. He knows they're swapping. Now the Blitzcrank is not as much of a threat. And the TF is useless. Good lane swap. What if we swap? Against your swapping. BB's gank in mid. Actually, wait, this gank from BB is pretty good. This reminds me of the kickest level 2 gank from TF. Why is Zach bot? Oh, he got the Q pull! He didn't die. 
I don't know why he's there. You pulled the lane swap. Why the fuck did you TP bot? Why did you TP bot if you're lane swapping? Just help Razor clear camps. You're gonna die. Oh, no flash on. <laughs> Broken blade. Broken blade. Oh, shit! He survived! Double kill for Razor K! Why is Oscar trying to walk in. into bot side jungle? I don't understand what he's doing. Well, Broken Blade ganked mid and lost mid. <laughs> Here comes Mickey. <laughs> New challenger approaches. While Oscar is kind of running around the map a bit clueless right now in the lane swap. Like, I don't know what he's doing. He shouldn't have TP bot. He just TP bot died, walked in bot to try and contest red buff, lost flash. And now what does he do? He's level one. He's covering a mid dive. Please don't gank mid. Like, if you're not going to do anything, help Razork clear the camps. Do something. Like, why is he not just hitting the jungle camps? It's faster for Poppy. Make Poppy's life. Thank fuck for that. Help him do dragon. Help him do things. Yeah, take XP from bot. Hit bot tower with demolish. What is he doing? All right, he's going to catch a top wave. Here comes his first wave of the game. Everyone get ready to clap in the chat. Six minutes later of standing still. A minion with Q. Zach, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, flash mark. Oh, my. Okay, well, that's just crazy. As much as I want to blame Oscar, could no one on Fnatic tell him what to do in game? If he's like, guys, I don't know what to do. Why doesn't someone tell him? Razorx, yo, come help me farm. Noah, yo, just come take bot XP. Why is no one pulling it? It's just gonna be the cap show again, isn't it? It might just be the cap show, chat. Oh, God. How to stop lane swaps. Put cages around lanes. You pick AD carry, you go bot. There's a cage around your lane for five minutes. Same for top, same for mid. Cages everywhere. Junglers can't gank anyone. They have to farm. Let people play in their lanes. Fuck jungle. Oscar has TP, though, so he should be fine. Just take XP and rage for his team to carry. That's how lane swap works for top laners. Oh, Grump. <laughs> That's not a fanatic Grump, hell yeah. Nice R flash. Nice heal. But the bailout comes in. They don't have the damage to kill anyone. Big play by Yike. Razork's here. I'm not sure if they can turn anything. No. Nothing to do here. Rex is strong early. So has this worked for Fnatic? Short answer, no. But the important thing is TF's not ahead of the. He's not. He's not in a good game state. Like TF's firing a gold up on Zach, great. But TF's 30, 37 CS in nine minutes, right? So the TF is pretty useless, and the Zach is just a ruby crystal in spot. Oh, nice flash by Mickey. Doesn't have the defensive tools to get him out. Now it's Hantama who's going to be in trouble. Twisted Fate maybe just threatening. Yeah, Fulton mid. Way, Humanoid's dead, I think. Yike might die too. Ancient. Wait, to Oscar TP mid as well. He won for one. That's Oscar huge for Fnatic. That's huge that they won for one that mid play. Ah, it's unlucky they didn't get Yike though. Oh, shit! Why didn't Yike flash? That was clean by Razor K. Wow, that frees up the game the so lane, much. They've evened it up. Play. Big plays from Fnatic. Big ones. Absolute this demon mode, chat. Absolute demon mode. Look at the TP ward behind Hansama. Look at already on Soul on the minimap. There it is. You can see from portraits what's going on. You fucking missed her. No summoner spells, and here comes Humanoid. That should be one dead Callista. Mickey on the chase. Gonna try to pull Humanoid out. But Hansama surely doesn't have like. He can use the dance. He's getting away. There's no way that Callista should live. But Hansama, with the support of Mickey X, will make it out. But now the follow up. Yeah. Completely going wide there. Um, initial hostile takeover. Mickey going to be sacrificed here. Fanatic at least going to walk away with one. Yike in one second. Support, okay. But I think he just has to walk away. Fates call up in the nick of time. No! Mickey Freedom Yo, this TF is this allowed to flee. Well, TF's 2k up. BB ulting for vision, trying to cover caps on the mid play because he has no flash, giving him vision so he can when the destiny play accordingly. You have to be careful about one dragon apiece. Grubs are up. But Fnatic want this bot tier one for Varus. I think they'll get it easily. Why is Fnatic pulling a play on mid if they're getting bot tier one? This could backfire very heavily with no flashes. No flash already on Soul. 
and Oscar is going to catch top wave. Themselves. Lovely, That's lovely, lovely. The gold largely remains a little bit late. Tia Yo. pushing in the top side as well, BB. Why? We got a good the tier two down. towers exist on Phoenix minimap. I mean, Rift now about to come up as well. I hey, think he has no world world where Marek, you want to fly on that bitch? So, so what Humanoid can do there is he can click on the ward before it goes invisible and see who placed it so he knows Blitzcrank's top side. Or well, he knows Blitzcrank's in that bush. He too get bops here one in response. Fnatic put their bot lane mid to secure the grubs. Actually, Herald's up, what am I about? The spawn. Pressure to maybe drop hook. a few wards in the enemy jungle. You can already see no hook to a cancel. few of them dropped. Jun's really far ahead in XP. Fnatic answer the bot tier one take yeah, with the top tier one take. To Both altars on side now. Game is very even. The tier two, All the gold lead so for G2 is basically on the TF. You know, Varys had a Kalista, Azir's had a ring on Sol. Come see, come sa, c'est la vie. But top is the problem right now. They're getting collapsed on. They have TP on Oscar though. Are they overplaying this G2? Fnatic have double TP. They're overplaying this way too hard. Unstoppable for a brief moment, but he's gonna be a dead man walking. Human oh, Marek wants more. To watch the skies descend upon Caps G2 can turn this with ult. Gonna have to Oscar use it on the Zack though. In. Hook hits the, the Zack. Zack has passive. Right back in. The Zack ignited. Oh, he leveled up and healed. He doesn't need to waste it. Razok chunks him here and runs out, I think. Finds the angle to lock up Caps, and Fnatic no wins the fight. Yeah, I'm not sure why G2's pulling the trigger on the top plate. Fnatic have double TP on the wave. Easy kill onto the Rek'Sai. Side. And look at the Yikes build. Game one, when he played Rek'Sai jungle, he went Titanic, Hydra, Sterex or something. Game two, he Sunfire Mercs. He's completely swapped to full tank Rek'Sai. The problem is with jungle Rek'Sai, your level is a lot lower than top Rek'Sai. And your gold income is a lot less. So you're just a worse version of top Rek'Sai with less sustain, less tankiness on your lower level. So that's why I think Rek'Sai jungle not that useful. Obviously, this game, top lanes are very low level considering the level one. Top lanes right now should be level 11. They had Scion game one. That's valid. They don't have any front line without Rek'Sai going full tank. That's true. Good point. Caps are showing bots, but Humanoid's catching the wave safely. And remember, the later oh, we get into this game, play onto BB. Uh, the harder Oscar needs to save his ult. Feel for G2, Broken Blade in the one v one. Not too much kill pressure right now. To save the Zack ult. Has a bit of extra armor. Broken Blade trying to flash away, trying to sidestep, waiting for an opportunity. Throws down the gold card immediately. TP's out to oh. safety. It's pretty clean. Oh. Did Razork oh. flash there or was it hex flash? Was that hex flash or real flash chat? I can't. I can't remember. Drake. Second Drake for G2, it TF flashes like down, Herald's up, I'm still waiting for Fnatic to do Herald. I'm not sure why they're not doing Herald. Alright, they're doing Herald, thank god. Humanoid might have to ult bot wave. Looks like Jun's basing and covering bots. Yeah, I mean, Orion Soul. Bro, he has Rylai's. Jun? That's a big hostile takeover. Yo, Jun's positioning was crazy there. Yike wants to do something else, but here comes Oscar in, in the range. Does the he have fly? Oh, they have a nice tower on us here. To make sure they can get out to safety, stretching Yo, Jun is the sun at the right place everywhere. Sure that G2 can retreat. Oscar, is continuing to chase. Keep in mind, Noah they want more. Caps has no ult. Oscar, the here comes Noah. Yike's gonna he die. He's useless as fuck. Likely to give his life in this one, and in the extended play, it's Fnatic coming out on top. Here they go. Reset. Q hits. Go on, Oscar. Hit the Q with the minion. Cap sidesteps. He's dead, though. They're going to lose top tier two for this, maybe, Fnatic. I'm not sure what Zek TP timer is on the cooldown. There's no objective to play for. They get kills, but look at bot wave. Look at mid wave. It's okay. They got flashes. But they used a lot there. Already on Soul Virus Flash for that play. They have no waves to play on, chat. No waves to play on. Nice hostile takeover. The thing is, G2's gold lead is on Twisted Fate. And Twisted Fate is behind by default. So Fnatic's ahead. I think the gold is a lie. That Zac is just as useful as that TF. I'm going to say it. The only thing that they have is... But Mickey's Finds level 6 at 21 minutes. Here, but here the comes the play on to Broken Blade. He has Ghost. No flash. Easy to interrupt the ulti out with a single they just got to stop his ult and he's fine. Is there. Broken Blade ghosting wants to try and make the same Oscar needs to flash. flash over the wall. He's out. Ulti, he's out. An extra gold card, a bit of extra range, and again. No he's smoking way. them on side, and G2's going to get Baron for that because they invested the already on Soul TP. Zach's TPing above them, though. Humanoid is. Oh, they knocked away Kalista. That's huge. That is huge. Pulled the Azir back as well. 
down is lonesome. Pushback is good. Hostile takeover is good. Oh, Yike maybe just saved him though. Yike, big save. Humanoid no ult. Oscar's going in. Oh, Yike didn't get the knock to stop it. Oscar missed Q. Good gold card. For the singularity, Maybe Jun can get BB so here. No, nope, the slow from Hansama Sama on the red. Oh, he interrupted the Rexile rod. Nice ult. But he's gonna go he down. To Jun's gonna burn kills. on the bailout. Mickey's back. Mickey wants one more hook G2 win. What an extended fight. What an extended fight. Fnatic was missing way too many abilities there. They didn't have Varus ult, I think. And, uh, I mean, they did at the early stage, but they didn't have a on soul ult. Great fighting from both sides. G2 get Baron. I'm not sure why they're pulling the trigger on the side lane all the time here, Fnatic. They really want to catch out the TF. I think that's a mistake. Also, the Zac is missing too many skills. Varus ult was used on the Blitzcrank, actually. I think that's been wasted. So, Oscar... Oscar really needs to hit these cues. Like here, it's a 4v4. Already on Souls here. Fnatic have the advantage. Jump comes in. Yike fail interrupts. Oscar misses Q. Then, on the right side, Fnatic splits up. Some chase top. They then chase into this choke where Hans chunks them. And then Oscar goes in, misses E again. The Zac can't provide anything. And they can't get a single target on the front to back, so they're a bit split. Another fight begins. Oscar has no passive, he's just dead. Humanoid's frying, but BB's just hitting him. He has bailout though. Not gonna get bailed out. I think the game's over here. Fnatic's out of it. Cap's gonna solo kill Noah. Well played by G2. They herald in mid, so there's no mid wave, but I think G2 runs this game. G2 runs and owns this game. Rexide W is on cooldown on the Zac knock. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, G2 gets mid tier one. Mickey's level 10. He was level 6 two minutes ago, I swear. Yeah, BB's carrying really hard. 5,000 gold up in top lane. 5,000 gold up. 6,000 gold up. Respect to BB. Got lane swapped on, and in 20 minutes he's 6k up. He is making plays everywhere oh, and avoiding all of Fnatic's plays on him. Oscar. As you mentioned, Oscar, Oscar is useless. Lost G2 three fights three in a row, and now the sack is useless. It's Mickey's hook that could be the determiner. Oh, nice Bars. hook now from Mickey. Back, really good hook. BB has ult. He ulted mid for the push. He has Baron for 30. He's looking for a mid-tier 3. Zac is more useful. Well, of course, they lost three fights back to back. They were close, so of course, G2 is winning. That's how the game works. But Zac was useful. He just missed a lot of spells. Oh, Caps. Oh, Caps. Oh, Caps. That was gorgeous. Presence of mind. Prox and Caps just fucking sends them. G2 sends him to the graveyard. What a play by Caps. Nah, that guy is so good. G2 don't want to risk the end. They got double in if they're going to base. They should have Terminus in base, Crypto Bloom. Caps, Caps, Caps. That was a 10,000 gold Baron power play, I think. They got 10k gold from that Baron. And then with From when they got it to now, they're able to win out the ending of the fight. That is mind blowing. They lost one fight for Nico around Baron, and they just lost 10k gold in two minutes. That's unreal. I haven't seen that much of a difference in a in one lane in my life. This fucking Zank has 90 CS in 27 minutes. Caps has no Zonia, has no Flash. He's fine though. But he's Shifting now out to save the Zac is level 12. Now, turn back to the tower. Now they back up once they see the opportunity is passed. Oh, the R flash from Jun was clean. To kick things off. Four members connected. And it's Oscar into the back. Oh my god. Oscar. Bouncing. It's the ulti from Humanoid as well. And Fnatic may have just found the fight. Yeah, they're, they're ending, by the way. They're ending. They're ending the game. They TF ulted in. He wants the trophy. Oh, Caps, man. He got the kill on the on the Varus. He can't hit the Nexus. He has target champs only on. He almost ended it, Caps. Oh, Caps had target champs only. You can see his champ going like this when he just had to hit the Nexus. That was funny. All right, G2 are on match point. Fnatic's blue side. What are they going to ban? Draven, Sion, Ash, Orianna. Here comes Volibear, I guess, by G2. Would be my guess. Should be the Volibear. Wow, Volibear first pick for Fnatic instantly. Yaiko play Jax. Yaiko for sure play Jax. It's Rek'Sai flex. I'm not a fan of it, but they seem to be convinced Rek'Sai jungle's good. I'm surprised they're not doing Jax, but anyway.
Azir is a good trend for G2. Aliyah, small swap by G2. I think that's a denial. I think G2 are pretty reading the next change in draft and taking away Talia for AGT from Humanoid because it works yesterday. Smart. Also, Volley by Talia is quite strong. I liked it. And now Humanoid has to go Azir. Oh, he's going back to that. Well, it's crazy, no? Varus and Senna are up. And Kalista. I think they should pick top. They have Varus, Lucian Nami, Kalista, Senna. Jinx Thresh, uh, Ezreal, when I think of they have Noah, everything. I think they went Varus, the never mind. Ones, God, they're so annoying, G2, aren't they? The Every jinx. time they pick this uh -oh. Jinx champ. They're doing it again. Lane they're swap, again. lane swap, lane Sion swap. And banned. G2 can just ban Zack now. Fnatic or they can pick it on four. Safe. I mean, Fnatic don't ban out safe tanks because they have Rek'Sai flex, right? They have Rek'Sai flex, right? How can you stop this lane swap from happening with bans? You can't. Maybe Fnatic have to ban Zack. What happens if G2 pick Zack on four? Like, they can ban TF and this and that and then G2 could just snatch Zack, put Rek'Sai jungle and lane swap. Ugh, that's so horrible to play against. G2 is such a mindfuck team, aren't they? Renata Blitz signals that they want Thresh again. I think if they ban Thresh, G2's gonna pick Lulu. But I think if they pick Thresh, they can play Nautilus into with Varus. They ban Nautilus, wait, what? They ban Nautilus? Wait, they get a free Thresh? Wait, what are you picking to Thresh then? What are you picking to Lulu or Thresh? Is Jun gonna go Pike here? No way is he going Pike. So they have Zack, Lulu or Thresh on four here, I think. Yeah, I knew they would take away Zack. I knew it with the TF ban. Ah, Orin on a lane swap is so bad. Go back Arkham's a good champ here. Does it fit their okay. comp though? Aye. You know, I think and Jarvan supports here, mega pick. <laughs> 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 All right, they're probably gonna go Lulu last here. Lulu into Rakan. You know yeah, what? Thresh as well could work. All right, Thresh makes sense. Lantern the AD carry out of the damage. G2 gonna lane swap. Yeah, I feel like they will. Otherwise, why would they deny the Zack pick? I know it's a good blind for Oscar, but BB could have just counted it really hard, even with TF being out. So I think the lane swap is coming in chat. Here comes the lane swap. I believe it's a lane swap. Fnatic, please react. Yeah, and again, they have no Fnatic. demolish on Rakan and Their Thresh has demolish, so that basically spells lane swap. This this Wait, what era, are they doing here, G2? Fnatic They're not swapping. Not by caps. Are they, they gambling that Fnatic is swapping? Maybe is this the poker game that Fnatic might win? Jun, don't, don't get caught by this. Don't get caught by this. Don't get caught napping, Kerr. So Razork has snuck his way into enemy blue. Are they gonna... What is... Is BB gonna gank bot? And then what, TP top? Good bit of poke, flat four okay. for the play, they're just trying to get... So Razork's coming to cover. Down and Why is TPing? Why? Wait, Why is he TPing? Now he TPs top. Why does Oscar TP so early? Just let them dive. Just let them dive and Razor counters it and you TP on the engage. They would kill Noah, but I think that TP is way too early. Now BB has a freeze. Oscar buys refillable in base. I really think that he shouldn't have TP. Oh, now Noah's going to die to the play. Here it comes. Guy just tunnels in. Flash knock up dead. I think they butchered this whole game against Fnatic. The knock up. The chompers. The play back. Noah's now running. G2 going to turn away. Jun just trying to get the head. Out of dodge. One more auto from Hansama should finish it. Oh, he leveled up. Hold level up. Three for Noah. Tries to oh, get a bit of damage back. It takes longer. Oh, if you had hit a blade, you would fry him. Jack trying to get top to cover his top camp. Razor wants the flash on Caps there, but Caps is winning the the long fight. Oh, nice dodge by. Oh, nice flash by Humanoid. Oh, Humanoid rolled him a bit there, but he's not gonna die. Oh, he is. Humanoid just smoked him. But BB's here, so they can't fight. Razor trying to get the stun. Broken Otherwise, no, Rek'Sai's dead here. Oh my god, it's so unplayable. Oh my god, Broken Blade is fucking smurfing this game. How did he pull that off? What a crazy play by Broken Blade there. What a crazy play. Respectable attempt. Rek'Sai's behind him. He's walking the wrong way. The putback's already hit. That's a Rex. And Humanoid's dead. I don't know. This game's so well. unplayable for Humanoid. Nice He's gonna wide. run away, but away is how far can he go? That Rex has Humanoid the uh, speed up. Oh, crap, him and speed. But Razork is powerful. 
is gonna find the stun. That's gonna be big damage. Humanoids gonna get knocked. They're gonna kill Rexai. Humanoids kinda dead here. Maybe he can max damage out on Caps and Razor can finish. All right, here comes Oscar. He should easily get him. Big kill for Oscar. Maybe they can get Broken Blade here. He has no flash. Oh, Oscar missed Q. Ah, Jun's here. That guy's dead. Okay, so G2 overplaying their hand a bit. Overplaying it way too much. Caps is scratching his head. I think he realizes. It's big mistakes. From G2 now two time. big kills they over to Oscar. Into the and Fnatic is right deep. back in it. And it's Humanoid is playing really well this game at buying side. time. Volleybet that one Bjorn against Caps, he bought a lot of time. This fight where he gets ganked, he bought a lot of time. And as Mickey abandons really the play to move Bolt, Jun joins the play up. If Mickey kept following up through this play, he could have been here first to prevent all of this. But look where Mickey is now. He was mid 10 seconds ago. He should never have left this play. I think mistakes from Mickey there. So Fnatic are back into the game. It's even again. G2 is going to get the early Drake. He lost a lot Jun mid. Yeah, but he's recovered it in kill gold, right? He's even still. It's not the end of the world because I think. You know what's funny to me? Oscar, big solo kill. That's what we like to see, Oscar. Wake up, baby. Come on, it's never too late to wake up. What I was going to say is, Hansama is playing the game. He's going to be without cleanse, which is a shocker to me. Why is he playing they no cleanse to make a play on against Rakan Varus uh, Volibear? You might think Rakan, why Rakan? Well, Rakan, when he R's and he flash knocks up, you can actually cleanse the charm and flash the knock up. But if you don't have cleanse, you're going to get charmed and knocked up, which is enough CC chain for follow up. Varus ult, Volibear flash Q. Oh, tried to predict Razor's movement there. Jun's trying to peek. Gonna walk away for now. Mickey Fox flashes to get Caps in range so he can land the shove. Humanoid's in base. Easy well kill for Jinx. First kill to over to Noah's gonna have to flash. The He's dead anyway, though. Yeah, the pullback hits no matter what, how fast you are on the cleanse. Two big kills to Hansama. G2 back Three in the lead. How much Hansama impact can this Cassante have? Because he's just sitting there 3 0 getting proxied. He's just gonna fuck around with them for a bit. Bowser's law. He's gonna he heal so much, he's actually Razzle, fine. He do now he's going under the tower. Oh, he went under the Trying tower. I think that was a mistake by Broken Blade. I think he should have just kept kiting and kept taking his passive on the wave. He could have bought even more time there. I'm a little surprised but Bowson's law right there, Blade. that allows G2 hey, to, to play a bot dive because Razark was showing for so long. So everyone say 07 to Noah. Kazante TP to cover. All right. I mean, I think Hansama has a lot of gold in his inventory. Never mind. No more 07s. Wait, they they're rediving the this or what? Oscar Why did Oscar base? Why did Oscar base? Why did Oscar base? Why did Oscar base? Oscar base? Oscar base? They saw him on a ward running back for the play. Oh, thank God they're not going for it. Oh, they're going for it. Oh, that's going to be embarrassing. That's going to hurt. Oh, my God. Flick back connects onto Noah. Immediate hook follow up. This time oh there's my no God. cleanse. I mean, I guess Oscar had to base. But they saw them wrap around into the tri bush on a ward, didn't they? I thought they saw them wrap into this play again. Sucks that he TPs in bases and then they just dive on the next wave. It's crazy, isn't it? No armor really on this Cassante. The Zac is undiveable. Noah's actually dead. Oh, does good no. damage in the 1v1 as well. The Varus is already so far behind. Broken Blade is too, <laughs> but you're going to favor the Zack in this uh, one. Ah, BB is just Takes uh, a bit more time. Perhaps a stretching strike. No, that's going to be a flash. A little unstable matter. 170 gold for Noah. Here on the He's 0 4 0. Noah has 2k down. That Jinx is cracking right Slayer up. Options are getting smaller and smaller. That Jinx is so strong. Because you're trying to get Noah back I don't think Fnatic can win this. In as well. So we'll see, though. Humanoid can maybe. Oh, my God. Noah, I'm sorry. Like, so Noah, I am again, sorry. John. This Zack is going to be in your nightmares. TV I can Broken see it. On the way in, looking to rinse and repeat Noah, I'm sorry. Earlier, stretching strikes. Otto's the minion. Pulls him back. Mickey and Hansama on the way in. They're going to take their time deciding who they want to donate this to. It will be Hansama. But no, Noah, I'm, I'm really sorry. Oh, nice play mid from Fnatic. That's a kill on the caps. Like, what does Noah do this game? He's getting absolutely... He's being level 1 dive, level 2 dive, level 4 dive, level 6 dive, level 3 ganked. He gets cover for a second and then they leave and then he gets dove again. TP'd on. Like, uh, I, I, I can't really blame Noah. Like, what do you want him to do this game? Let's see, though. There's a big gold lead in mid. See if this Azira can do some, some, some work. I think Noah's not tilted. 
look at him, he's talking. I think he's just like, it's fine, I'm dead, it's fine, I'm dead. I don't think Noah has tiltable, really. He seems like a too nice of a person to get tilted. Alright, well, Hans Sama's gonna be 3k gold up. Noah uh, Hans Sama's 3k gold up after that tower. <laughs> don't look 80 items. It's gonna be incredibly if you're a Fnatic you fan, look don't map, look at 80 carry they items. Don't look. The bottom side. They take don't look. On this bottom oh side of the map. my good Fnatic, god. Too slow. I looked Cat Despair. On the bottom lane turret, and that's a I looked Cat tower. Despair. Oh my god, she got it on a full tower. Right and he's gonna Darkest. jinx ult the Azir to kill the range. Oh, oh, the oh, oh. Of the Thank god they don't have jinx ult. Oh my god, that Rek'Sai is going in. Kill him. Yike. Well, the good news is Varus got a kill. The bad news is Varus got a kill. He's worth gold again. Ah, hell nah. Ah, hell nah. Solo lanes collectively are 2.4k up. But that jinx, man. That damn Fnatic Jinx, she's gonna one-shot and tear G2 through Fn uh, G2. Uh, Fnatic, on mid. one Drake apiece, for some of the, uh, 500 gold lead. Need on this top, the game the map is on hold for Hans Sama. Hold for the dragon if Hans Sama dies, when you look at the Fnatic the is safe, screen, you see a because that Talia but it's more has a lost chapter and a tear. Maybe he has a lot of gold, but I'm looking at an Azir that's close to Rabadon's. Bit more control, and that bit Jinx more has no cleanse. Again, I think the game's fine the for Fnatic. For for if they can land fight, a Varus ult, a Volley Bear Flash Q, lead, anything, Rakan, on onto that Jinx, she is Great dead, and she is dead, and she is dead really quick. Like they and they're, they're going to be up in gold here. These solo lanes from Fnatic are very, very strong. The game is on Hansama. They have no... Like, look at this, boom, fresh dead. The Jinx has damage, but does she have uptime, you know? Steps up. Panic has a lot of damage too. Really this might go to five, chat. This G2. might go to five. The Hold the phone. I think I'm going to lose my voice because this is going to be the 14th and, uh, game Fnatic. that I've been streaming today. They We're 13 hours in. Don't look Azir items. Don't look Azir items. I trust Jun and Razor when they have flashes up to nail it onto that Jinx. Mickey's rushing the Kales. He needs it quick. But his job Drake's in 10. Now, is it really to do you can see Fnatic are learning. As much as you can see if you actually watch map there, numbers over the last few games. Fnatic was over grouping a bit and they were bleeding side lane tier 2 towers, especially in game 2 against Caps Azir. Now they're pinging tier 2s really a lot more. Like a they're defending bomb. side lanes a lot better. And down goes the Jinx, maybe. Nope, there's the lantern. Once that Jinx dies, I'm telling you, it's horror central for G2. But here's the G2 pressure. It's these side lanes. Good TP. Good TP. From both both sides. They're trying to defend this tier two. It's Armageddon for tier twos, chat. You see it? G2 love going side lanes and trading tier twos. Even though it's dead. Fnatic blundered the side lane defense. They knew it was coming and they fucked it up. Razork's pushing mid with Grubbies. He's got three. He's gonna try and get mid tier one. My voice is so croaky, it's crazy, I'm sorry. It's manky as hell. The Talia just got a lot of gold, actually. I think Talia has Rabadon's in base. So Caps is now in it. It's unfortunate for Fnatic, Fnatic are blundering the sides. I think, Caps, I think Caps has Rebidons. Or maybe he's double needless. He must be close, though. These full five V5s, and he must be close. Play so, like so we will see more Fnatic have two Drakes. Sure They're around Sama eight minutes away from a soul. And Oscar also a guy who's Hook. not afraid. Hold that thought. Couldn't die. He has his crown. Picked out. We'll just force the I call it crown. Change my mind. You want to catch the top wave? The Caps lane. should have Rabadon's in base. So much Baron's up. up on this top side for G2 now, because that's where they just Rakana's flash. A go, put if Fnatic have balls and Zach having no TP, there's the a window for a bot push, push out into a Baron Force. But that's a risky play. The reason I think a Baron Force is good at this point in the game for Fnatic is that Jinx is going to get IE soon. And when she gets Jinx, and when Jinx gets IE, I am scared for Fnatic. But some smiles, some when optimism. Jinx gets IE, I am very scared. Picking two. Mickey stepping up. 
Good hook on the Jun. Play backwards, but Jun oh, they've got all nice McHales. Oh, Caps, no flash. Good rock, Hunold. No, I get to kill. Humanoid's still up. He's going to die now, though. That's one reset. Oh, boy. This Jinx is opening up. Let's see what Oscar can do, though. He's tanky. He's going to run out. Slow didn't connect. Two for one. I think Fnatic's happy with that. Push away. Fight Jinx still has flash though. Two Hook's gonna miss. In favor of I think well, the Humor biggest thing there was Volley Bear flash. But Rakan still has flash. I, I think the Rakan flash is what G2 needs to be Humor careful for. Said, really good Mikhail's by Mickey on the Varasol. They just need to, to connect on Jinx. Infinity All that matters is Jinx. Jinx, 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 Jinx. Yeah, it's fine. My voice is okay. I just need to swallow a lot. Don't take that the wrong way, you fucking rats. Okay, Jinx has I. I'm very scared for Fnatic now because she's gonna open up a shit ton of damage. Oh, TV play. Oscar. Almost got BB who went a bit far. Caught in the 4v5, oh no, Humanoid dashed in as he swooped out, uh, jumped out. Does not the type of play that Yike found earlier today. Guys, the ult, he can get into the pit. Oscar, Oscar takes absolutely no damage. Good poke. Oh, BB got the jump onto Humanoid, but he pushed him away a little bit. They can kite this back a bit, maybe, but Yike connected. Humanoid's down. Razork's down. Oscar's maybe down too. That's a Titanic Hydra. Flash knock. Noah's gonna try his best, but he's not really got anything. He's just gonna die. Five kills for G2. And that's Baron. I think that's game. That is GG. Already pushed in the mid lane wave. Wall coming from behind. Noah again isolated the front line. Can they protect him? Backstep from Oh my god, Noah's HP was one auto attack. I mean, the Jinx is 5k up. Surprise, Hansen and popping Ghost here. Oh, he got swooped. Oh my god, he's dead. It doesn't matter, I think. Does it matter? Oscar can tank. And Humano is cooking. Hansama didn't flash it. Hansama didn't flash it. Hansama didn't flash the Azir play. How did Hansama not flash it? Humanoid is going Super Saiyan. How did they do that? Five kills back for two? What is happening? Humanoid keeps the game alive. Hansama doesn't flash the insects. Now the torch passes from Humanoid. They just do not to Jun. The damage that they need. I'm waiting for so Jun to make the magic. Gasson. I'm yes, waiting for Jun kill, to make magic on Oscar. that Jinx. Blind, this is here. Cops trying to oh, the there it is. <gasps> there it is. And Humanoid's alive, maybe. No, he's dead. It's 3v3. Oscar has ult. Ah, the backline dive was really good by BB. They're trying to get the bear. The Thunder Sky, maybe, can help him. Oscar needs to 1v3, but I don't think he has damage on this champ. Going to go into Thresh, no flash. Yeah, you'll kill Thresh easily. They have no Rek'Sai ult. Maybe Jun can live here. It's on Oscar to just burn through. Their health, but desperately trying to claw this fight. Back. Who's dying? No one is dying except for Jun. Maybe finally they will take the W the from Jun. Nowhere to go. The pullback, the blast cone. Jun escaping. Are you kidding me? No, he's down. He will die in the end. The Jinx rocket sidestep. This man, he needs to die quick. To drop. It's, the tower it's better for him to die quick. Really good left. kill on the Han Sama, but lane. Humanoid Mickey dashes in and the caps the pulls the Humanoid in with the WE. The Crazy good combo. Combo. That won them the fight there. Take out Noah. That won them the fight. Well played by Caps. Almost 50 kills in this banger. Almost 50 kills. The wall. Not going to catch. Oh, it is going to catch Noah. Nice cleanse. Cleanses, walks away. Good cleanse timer. Razor doesn't have flash. Jun doesn't have flash. How do they connect the onto the Jinx? I don't think they can connect onto the Jinx. It's a bit of an Aram. I think Fnatic wants to wait for Drake and Volley Bear flash. That Cassante is strong, but so is Zack. G2 is favored though. 
They have way more levels too scary and way more being. damage. Well, but Fennec have playmaking. Playmaking is valuable. The is real. Here comes if you Broken clutch it. Oh, Humanoid Push finds Broken Blade. Broken Blade axes the back All Fennec, no need to nice flash by Broken Blade. Repositions to, to get the push. Oscar's going to die. Is he going to die? Yeah, he is, but so is Broken Blade. Or is he the TP from Caps? And Humanoid's dead to Jinx. It's over. Absolutely over. Heavy favor. Penta kill for Hans. Penta kill for Hans. Farewell, Noah. You fought valiantly. He went for the Penta, so they can't then now. They deny the soul point. They get Baron. And I think G2 have done it. I think G2 have done it. I think Humanoid's play was good, but Oscar went in so deep. And then the Jinx damage is crazy, you know, look at this. Just fucking murders them. But I guess if Oscar doesn't go in, they get collapsed on quick on the Humanoid play. Yeah, Hansama wants GA. And I think he has it. Hansama, no flash. Jun and Razork have flash. I'm not sure if they can connect, because I think he did buy GA. I'm not sure, though. Why don't G2 end? Well, Jinx has no flash. Then as here does, so... The lethality bars was Hard to step up. To ahead, was to be the Humanoid has a quest. Onto the Jinx, onto the Operation Shuffle Maybe Jinx. G2 are a little so bit scared. Impossible. Sorry, chat, these the lights are so bright. I'm watching Humanoid. I'm watching Humanoid. And I'm watching Han Sama. Mitsuko came in and gave me a honey and hot water. There's the wall. Jun needs to dash out, maybe. Now he's playing really aggressive. Look at the jinx, 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 look at the jinx. They fucked it up. They fucked it up, I think. Jinx is hitting. And she's full HP. G2, back to back. Fennec put up a really good fight. Fennec put up a really good fight, chat. But G2 are inevitable. It should not be enough. There's no way they can do this. Noah goes in trying to kill Caps. He'll get at least one. But as long as Hansama is standing, G2 know that they have the win. He's taken down first seed in MSI, and they will lift the Spring Split Shield. Congrats to G2.